Hey guys, Steve Allaire. Today we're checking out the new aircraft carrier, UK British aircraft carrier, uh, the Ark Royal. There's Denny Boyd. He's running the show with this one. There's the ship build. And this one, yeah, it seems pretty good. Okay, now it's British-esque. Very similar in terms of feel to the Furious, uh, but tweak stats. We'll go over the differences in the stats as the game progresses here. Now this game, you know, it is what it is. I think I've played about three games in this so far. I got it. I got to figure it out. This will demonstrate it, what it can do for you guys. You know, I'm not Mr. Carrier. And I'm going to play it 10 times in a row. Usually when I'm doing the premium reviews, I try and get about 10 games, give or take. But this is what it is. All right, so knowing that, I'm not Mr. Carrier. I think we blow up both uh, destroyers, or at least we're instrumental in countering them. And we're just kind of playing this thing how I'd want my carrier to be playing, which is basically attacking the destroyers. At least that's my goal going into most games. And that's how I as a player generally rate the carriers you guys as carrier players may have different criteria than me but for me uh what i want them to do is basically ruin the destroyer's game and if they do that then i think they're contributing to the win all right if they're bombing stuff okay whatever everybody can deal damage and the carriers yeah you can get good at it certainly but uh, i don't feel like they really have much of an impact uh, if that's what they're there to do uh, with their primary objective so we both uh, drop planes here, me and the other uh, carrier. And that's a good thing. As a carrier player, if you don't understand how the fighters work, you want to be dropping them in the path of the enemy uh, planes. Whenever you encounter them, your fighters, they go around in circle. They do a little bit of spotting, sure. But what they really do is attack enemy uh, carrier squadrons when they get close. And there we're spotting some torps that's helpful for our team as well. These are all things you can do. As a carrier player, spotting torps, countering destroyers, and here we're attacking the Maws. He's flushed out of the smoke, and look at all those bombs coming out of this puppy. Boom. Now, damage-wise, uh, comparing it to the Furious, much lower in damage. All right, the Furious bombs, 5,355, 5,355 max damage. Here we got 3,825, so significantly lower. But what's going on here? Well, the Furious, we got two... Uh, units, they call it, uh, groups of planes essentially of six planes each. Here we have three groups of planes, nine planes each, okay? So we're having these huge bomb <laughs> clusters coming out of this thing, and I find it pretty hard to miss, okay? Even if we're attacking destroyers, cruisers, battleship, doesn't really matter. I'm not Mr. Carrier by any means. Um, I'll teach you how to aim your main guns and <laughs> your surface ships, but uh, for this, you know, I am as scrubby as the next guy when it comes to carriers, at least, uh, in my opinion. But, nevertheless, I find them to be pretty uh, easy to operate, okay? And we get decent damage with these things. Uh, but countering the destroyers, that's what I wanted to be doing primarily. I think they're pretty good at doing that. The Brits, okay, we have this circular aim. You'll see when we get the HE bombs back. But it's a circular aim circle as opposed to an oval, elongated one. And that means you can really attack from any angle, Broadsides, usually when we're bombing battleships or cruisers, uh, or even destroyers, frankly, it's harder to hit them coming at a broadside angle like we're he doing here with the torpedoes. Torpedoes, generally, we want to be attacking the sides of the ships. Bombs, typically, we want to be attacking along the uh, length of the ship, coming in nose first or uh, rearward first and lining up that way. But here with these, the circular aim circle with HE bombs, you can attack from any angle, and you'll see the ease. I mean, they'll be... I'll be coming in at full speed on these runs here throughout the game. And it's just very hard to miss. I mean, the planes are so low to begin with. Uh, good attack times, everything. So I think easy carrier to play Arc Royal. Okay, but the base damage lower, that's balanced out by the uh, unit size. Uh, what else is different between this and the Furious? The planes, at least the HE bombers, significantly faster, about 8 knots in the air. A little bit faster in the torpedo bombers. Same difference between the unit size there. On the torpedo bomber side. Uh, but not a, a better uh, restoration too. I should mention that. About 11 seconds per plane. And that's on both the torpedo bombers and the HE bombers. So this is one of those uh, carriers that at least now is pumping out the planes. I always, I check basically whenever there's a new premium or a new carrier that comes out. I'll update all the plane stats at that tier and I'll see what's been changed. And a lot of times they'll uh, change the restoration, whether or not they mention it out loud. I don't know if that's always the case or not, but I see the restoration changing often. I would see, you know, it's an easy thing to tinker with, but 
for some reason, the Furious, the Tier 5 uh, tech tree, has extremely long uh, restoration. It's about 6 plus, up to 10 seconds longer than basically all the other uh, carriers at this tier right now. So the Arc Royal, much uh, lower restoration there. And torpedo speeds, I mentioned I do check the stats, and a few of the torpedo speeds went up by a knot, just not on on this line, but throughout, uh, there were some torpedo tweaks, I noticed. I don't know if they talked about that in the patch notes or not. That's neither here nor there, but pretty comparable on the torpedo performance. A little bit longer range on these, but otherwise, uh, statistically, they look pretty similar. So the main difference comes down to the HE bomb attacks, again, much more uh, damage with the Furious as opposed to the Arc Royal. And by the way, those planes have a lot more HP, and both of them. Uh, both sets of the planes on the Furious, both the Torpedo and the uh, HE Bombers, much more health, but again, fewer uh, planes, which I think is a balancing factor. Here's something to note on these uh, Torpedoes. It's got the cone-shaped uh, aim here, so look at this. We're actually able to aim inwards towards this thing if you allow your aim to fully go in, and boom, we're able to hit that guy going straight on, which is a difficult shot to do. You know, he's going relatively slow. It's close, point-blank range. Sure, you can hit him, yes, but... Um, it's a little bit easier with this, uh, the shape of the attack here. Most torpedo uh, aim spreads are basically uh, purely vertical, you know, straight lines. These ones converge uh, the further out they go. So interesting to note on that. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, the speeds, the aircraft speeds on the HE bomber is much faster on this. Detection, about a full kilometer lower. So looking at the stats, I mean, in general, the Arc Royal looks a little bit di uh, better. Uh, certainly in, when it comes to most of the stats, but there are some perks uh, to the Furious typically in uh, damage output. So I think the three games that I played on the Arc Royal, they all clock in uh, between fifty and 60,000 damage. Again, that's not typically what I'm trying to do there. We want to help get the destroyers off the board, and then you go into a game management mode, okay? So in this instance, we cleared out the middle, hoping our team would win the cap. And then we had to pick, okay, the flank, C, we're losing, we got to get out of there, we already ran away from there. Or could we go help clear out A? So that's what I was trying to do. I came over here, tried to take out the Munchen, who killed our cruiser, and I'm trying to get this guy, so at least we can clear one side of the board, okay? Other tasks I could be doing, spotting, you can see all those ships that are unspotted moving from C to B. That would be more helpful from our team's perspective, perhaps, especially when we're down uh, significantly strategically here. This battleship will be getting some crossfire hits on the centrally located uh, blue battleship. So, yes, it would be nice to get this guy off the board. But, you know, I mean, obviously the game's already collapsed. It's, hey, it's half over. Clearly one team should have lost by now, right? Uh, so we're down to two ships. Uh, do I like the Ark Royal? I mean, it's a carrier, so it doesn't send a thrill at my leg necessarily. But in terms of aircraft carriers playing them, the ones I tend to like are the Russians, and I do like playing the British ones. Okay, I like the I like the HE bomb attack, the cluster bombs with the Brits. Uh, the torpedo is pretty slow, you know, not the easiest to hit right out of the box, but if you get some practice with them, they're all right. Uh, so, in terms of carrier, sure, it's, it's kind of fun. Uh, the Russians are just kind of nasty, you know, but they're kind of unique in terms of their aim system. But the this, uh, the Arc Royale and the Furious and the rest of the British line, much more traditional. Um, and I do want to point out here, you can see how far down range that circle is, the aim circle. Uh, if a ship appears between that, let's say a destroyer pops up between my aim point and my fleet, I can hit attack and we will be able to bomb much earlier than that, okay? that's you'll, Your planes will get to that aim point very quickly, but if you... Uh, if it appears to be beyond your uh, target, just don't despair due to that fact. Uh, you can actually cause them to drop and commence their attack before you hit that point. So I want to point that out. Uh, but you can see here, okay, we got the battleship. Blasted them, hit them with about 50 bombs. Did we set them on fire? I think so. Didn't do a lot of damage. Uh, here we're going to test out the Atlanta. And you can see, okay, decent damage. Looks like about 3K. We got a fire. So raw damage. And we're, you know, trying to test out different surfaces. Lightly armored cruiser, heavily armored battleship. Okay, here we got a flint blasting us. So this game's not going to last too much longer. Uh, but, you know, it's it, you're not going to be racking up huge raw damage, I don't think. But fires galore. Uh, 
hits on destroyers, which are important because you will do damage to the destroyers. I feel like I get probably the best raw damage on the destroyers out of everything. And, you know, those are important things to do. So, from that perspective, I think it's a pretty strong ship. But the carrier people were all pretty excited about this one, so I think it's got a pretty good reputation. And uh, that will do it for this one anyway. So, that's my look at the Ark Royal for you guys. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. New to the channel, consider subscribing. Lots of World of Warships coming for you all the time. Questions, comments, leave them below. Love to hear from you guys, and we'll see you all there. All right, peace.